The month of April is definitely an exciting one for us LEGO fans because there's going to be so much great LEGO coming out this month. It's going to be incredible. Plus, I've heard that maybe a double points promo is coming up here as well. So that's exciting. But either way, I still want to go to the LEGO store today because the first new mask, helmet, whatever you want to call it, is coming out today. And that's Carnage because it's actually April 11th. And for some reason, Carnage is coming out on April 11th, whereas most of the other ones are coming out on April 26th, which is like the Scout Trooper, Darth Vader, the Probe Droid, and many others, maybe even those Looney Tunes minifigures as well. But either way, I still want to go get uh, Carnage on the release day because the Carnage helmet looks amazing. Also on the 26th, we're going to be getting what? Uh, the Batman cowl, Venom, it's just so many. It's like the month of helmets and, and masks. It's crazy. You know, like they look pretty awesome here on the shelves in the Lego room. So right now we've got Boba Fett, the Stormtrooper, the TIE Fighter pilot, and also one little Marvel guy here known as Iron Man, right? So we've got those four. I think I'll be able to squeeze the Carnage one on the shelf here with those four. Obviously, we'd put it beside... Uh, Iron Man because it's Marvel. But once we get more of them, like, you know, the ones I was just discussing, Batman and Venom and Vader and the Scout Trooper, we might have to find some different area here in the Lego room to display them all. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do when more of them come out by April 26th. Yeah, this is coming up with a few different things. I don't know if we're going to display the Star Wars ones with the Marvel ones permanently, or if we're gonna switch it up, because I mean, that's, that's a pretty big mashup, you know, Star Wars, Marvel, DC, and maybe they continue to come out with more of these helmets as we move forward into the future. I was actually thinking maybe possibly we could put a floating shelf back here when the time comes, just above the part bins. Then we could have a row of them along here and maybe eventually they'll come out with more of them and we'll have another row just above that. But then I don't know where I would put my silly heads, right? Food for thought, but I think it looked pretty cool. It's almost like the Lego helmets Masks, cowls are like the new brickheads. They're like the new little collectible that's coming out. Yeah, so today uh, we're going to the Lego store to pick up the new Carnage mask. And we'll see if there's anything else that uh, catches our attention while we're there as well. You never know, right? So let's head on out and do some Lego shopping. Woohoo! So we've arrived at the Lego store here in West Edmonton Mall. I zipped around the front there and I didn't see the Carnage mask on display, but actually. I see it right over here in the Marvel section. And you can see he's right beside the Iron Man helmet there. And there's actually one built on display in that little cabinet as I use my little sharpshooter to get in there. There we go. There he is. So that's pretty awesome that they have that in stock and guaranteed. I know like they released it on the 11th here today because it's like a Target exclusive or something like that. We saw the uh, Batwing there and we see the CN and also uh, the Jeep Wrangler and then just the cool siding on the Lego store here in West Edmonton Mall, so pretty exciting. And yeah, maybe there's some new stuff in there as well that's changed around. Maybe there's some damage box specials. I'm not too sure. Uh, there's obviously not really a lineup here today, so that's, that's good. I'm sure like in like 20 minutes or something there will be. I always like to get here early just to make sure that I don't get, have to be put on a list, I guess, and have to wait in a long lineup, right? I'd rather get here early and ensure that I get the product. So we have the Disney castle and recently we converted one into the costume shop, which is a really cool modular building. And we have the turbo, the one that's spinning right here. And recently we did all of the shelving in the Lego room. So I'm contemplating buying another one to do the Targa. I don't know though, what do you guys think? Should I do the Targa in addition to the turbo? Mm, the Porsches are pretty cool. Alrighty, we're in everybody. And of course, we're gonna go screaming over to the Marvel section, like most people, I would imagine, right? Looks like they're actually reorganizing some of the shelving over there. Take a long way around, eh? We'll check out Diagon Alley in this little cube unit here. That's cool, I like how they have them like a semi-circle, half-circle, that's pretty neat. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Yeah, so we just grabbed one off the shelf here, and there it is, it's the, uh, Carnage, assembled from the Spider-Man universe. 546 pieces, 76199 is the set number. It looks pretty sweet, pretty cool box art. Oh, we got some comic book stuff on the back here of Carnage. 
stands 19 centimeters or seven inches tall. It's right here in the display unit beside the Miles Morales mech and also the Captain America mech. I love the comic style backdrop they have in the unit. It's pretty cool. Looks like all the detailing on the top of his head there is actually done with stickers. So there's quite a bit of sticker work. It's not print pieces. And his teeth and like tongue and inner mouth is pretty sweet. I like how they have the light pink color behind it and just the way they sculpt the eyes and everything. So yeah, that's what we're picking up today here at the Lego store. I'm pretty stoked. You know, I'm pretty stoked that they have them in stock. <laughs> pretty sweet. I'm pumped. I like the box art too. The 18 plus style box art. You know, red and black goes well together. That's for sure. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Happy to get that for sure. I still really want to get this right here. <laughs> I'm eyeing that up in a big way. You get the four minifigures in there. Uh, Venom, Venomized, Iron Man, Venom Pig, and also Spider-Man. That's pretty sweet. But you know what? I, I heard there's a double points coming up. Maybe in like a week or so, which is gonna be pretty cool. Hopefully we can pair up the double points with like the new Star Wars releases. That would be super neat. Yeah, because we're gonna get more helmets coming out here right away. But wouldn't that be sweet if they if they line that up with the double points? That would be just would be very generous of them, you know? Just a good gesture for us Lego fans that know that we're gonna get it. Got some new Ninjago stuff here. Jungle Dragon, the Keeper's Village, and many others. Including one of my favorites, actually this is my favorite set of 2021. It's the uh, Ninjago City Gardens. It's such a fun build. So I guess you can pre-order stuff in the store now. So you can see there's the helmet, the probe droid, the scout trooper, and also the Batman cowl. You put a little down payment down, and then what you do is you come here on the release date and they guarantee that you're going to get one. So it's always worth checking out the pick brick wall. Something that I have in mind right now is the coral reef that we're doing in the underwater area in our city. Because they did a great job, but we ran out of pieces essentially that can create coral reef. The cool thing about coral reef is you can really build it using any colorful pieces. And the imagination can really run free when you're doing that. So we may as well have a brief look. We could truly use any of this stuff if you wanted to add some green highlights or some pink flowers. Even these gold elements up here. Like this, like you can create coral reef using that, believe it or not. Ooh, gold cylinders. That's Fair pretty enough. cool. These green flowers here. Those gold cylinders are rad. These gold elements here have been here for a while. These gold flags. Imagine if you paired up those gold cylinders with the gold flags. You could make some sick coral reef. If you like alternated it, gold cylinder, gold flag, pointed the flags in all different directions, you could make some sick reef using that. Hey, that's a plot. Also, there's all these uh, light blue flowers here. These stem elements would do good for coral reef. That's what I built all my little spruce trees or saplings out of. There's so many good options here on this wall that you could use to build unique things, details, buildings, anything you want, really. Now, the reason I'm not gonna get any today is because of what I said <laughs> earlier in this video multiple times. I hear there's a double points coming. And if there's a double points coming, you may as well wait for that, right? But yeah, we'll be back. We'll hit this pick brick wall hard and we'll uh, build some sick coral reef using some elements off the pick brick wall. It's gonna be cool. Actually, next time I come, I will uh, bring Jose and she can uh, help us pick some pieces and help us build some more cool coral reef because she really likes that detail oriented stuff. Yeah, so that's pretty sweet, you know. I really like those gold flags. That looks pretty sweet, like killer. Also, over here, we got some stuff in stock. We got some stuff in stock. I'm telling you right now, we got the assembly square, the police station, corner garage. I still want to pick me up one of those assembly squares. It seems to be readily available here and on the website lately, so that surprises me, right? No, it shouldn't surprise me, though. <laughs> That's actually normal. That's normal. If, if it's not in stock, that should be the surprising thing, but it doesn't seem to be like that uh, throughout the last year or two, right? But yeah, assembly square will be the next one to retire, so might be worth a pickup here in the near future but oh look at that they also have the flower bouquet somebody was messaging me saying they're having a hard time finding the flower bouquet i think the the scarcer one of the two is actually the uh, the bonsai tree well we got our carnage we checked out the pick a brick wall we had a brief browse around and you know that's really about it for our little lego store shopping shopping trip today nothing too crazy <laughs> because 
Yeah, it's helmet month, April helmet month, I guess. That's what we're gonna call it, eh? Yeah, now we're just gonna roll out. This is my stomping ground. This is the West Simmons Mall Lego store. So yeah, pretty sweet. That big boat behind us there. And the side of the Lego store. Yeah, I'm excited. Just wanted to share my shopping experience with you guys as always. Remember to like, subscribe, stay tuned. Tattoo's looking sweet, huh? <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Thanks for stopping by.